bigwigs, the people who fucking trained Bin Laden, the people who gave Saddam Hussein all his dual use equipment to make poison gas to drop on the earth. So, those people. So, here's their song. It's a rewritten Woody Guthrie song. Who wrote, you might be familiar with his song, he wrote the most famous leftist song in American history. It's called This Land is Human Land. But that's not what this song is. Too many folk singers are trying to rewrite that shit. Well, I'm the meanest man, I got a five-sided brain Most folks around me think I'm insane, but it doesn't faze me Not a bit, you say I'm crazy, I don't give a shit, I'm mean Well, I'm mean to my mother, I'm mean to my brother Mean to anyone I think of as an other And if you don't want to play nice with me, I'll bring democracy to your stupid country I'm mean <laughs> Got uppercase D, democracy Well, I mean in the East, I mean in the West, neoliberal mean, this is what I like best. I go around putting lots of folks in debt and then I completely destroy their lives with interest. The econ people call those structural adjustment programs. <laughs> neoliberal reform, austerity measures, budget repair. I don't like sim simonyms. I just call it mean. In the bad way, not in the good way, of course. With the army or economics for fruit and gold and gasoline, I've funded many a mean machine. Folks like Suharto, Augusta Pinochet, Manuel Noriega, no didn't have Saddam Hussein, Marcos, go carry the country, the shop, Ramos, Shaw, Dubai, Amy, Clark, Malik, Ben, Ali, Parsa, and many others. Fuck them all. There are many others. That is right wing military dictators propped up in the name of democracy by the United States. Google it. Or you can use a different search engine if you'd like it. <laughs> what a library. What a library. Very good. <laughs> Old school. Okay. <laughs> well, I profit from wars. I profit from jails. I profit from disease. I profit from sales. I profit from things you think would sadden me. Even found a way to profit off of tragedies. Things like tsunamis, earthquakes, hurricanes, refugee crises, anthrax outbreaks, bird flu, pit bulls, American Idol, yeah. a lot of stuff, and Osama. I got a lot of other folks that roll with me like the Saudis and South Korea, Israel, Australia, and Pakistan, and my 51st state, England, and a Sometimes Haiti, too. You know, depending how recently I've kidnapped their president, of course. You know, which I did in 2004. Oh, but you know Chavez doesn't roll with me. He doesn't like my type of hegemony. He called me a donkey on live TV. He did. He's got a good point, too, because I'm an asshole. <laughs> Here, Mr. Communist, I dare you to come to the next UN conference because I'll blow up your helicopter or poison your cigar. And Chavez is like, I don't smoke cigars. And I'm like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't like the UN anyway. There's a bunch of communists in there. I mean, you know about the French. <laughs> and that communist statue they built in New York Harbor. <laughs> trying to keep this oil flowing, get rid of trade barriers, you know, like the Civil Rights Act, and child labor <laughs> hurt people, hurt animals, keep generic AIDS medications out of hands, poor people, kick people out of their homes, establish sweatshops across the global south, and other such things, you know, spread freedom. <laughs> I guess I do like them in there. Oh yeah, and uh, 